Your words changed her. But she kept the whole portrait. In a safe, even. And the spell. She wrote the spell on it. It said, You also hear the other part. She means her part, right? Anna, listen to me. You cannot hope to understand her. Any sense of reasoning is buried far beneath a blind, hate-filled need for revenge. Revenge for something she feels was undeserved. But the sad truth is, it was all her own doing. She just can't accept it. What are you doing here? Why did you leave the castle? I... am not proud of it. I acted in haste. But now I must stand by my actions. During the night, when Frida had snuck into the castle unawares and confronted me, she was in a rage. She talked to me of how her time had come, and she threatened me with... with Bernhard's life. Oh no, Ben. I can't say why, but a spell taught in my childhood suddenly came to mind. An animal familiar spirit spell to guide and protect. It made sense, but to cast such a spell is to put your own mind in a constant state of rest. So, so you needed to put yourself in a place where you could do that? Precisely. I cast a spell on myself to transport to the furthest reach from Winfrieda, and from here I called upon the animal familiar spirit to protect Bernhardt. It took him body and mind and has protected him to this day. That's why you don't want to leave, isn't it? If you do, the spell won't work. Ben, he won't be safe from Winfrieda. With each passing moment I am not resting. The connection to the animal familiar spirit wanes. All those people left behind, though. Not everyone can be protected from her. I... I know. But I can do nothing for them. It is not within my power. What is, is protecting Bernhardt. So that is what I must continue to do. Anna, I... I'm afraid I have spent too much time in unrest. You must excuse me. No. No, wait. The Wizard of Vundahorn. He told me something. He said that you are the only one strong enough to reverse her magic. Me? But I do not practice in magic anymore. My path in word was to become queen. I could not rule people in fear of me. Winnie, she has only grown in power over the years. She is stronger than I ever was. But the wizard also, if you don't stop her, then what then? I, I am sorry, Anna, deeply sorry. I am without answer to Winfrieda's threat. And so I have to think of Bernhard. I have to protect him. Please leave me be so I may rest now. These flowers would be perfect for a flower girl. Um, Miss Yannicka? These flowers, is that part of your protection spell or anything? Oh no. Those were part of a disenchantment spell I was working on from inside the prism. I was attempting to reconstruct the enchanted rose to see if I could break the spell. Oh, I'm so sorry, Yannicka. Winfrieda tricked me into taking it. Never mind. What's done is done. You are my savior in the end, regardless. Please, do what you will with the flowers. They are yours. Can I ask you one last favor? Huh? The queen, Yannicka, she's doing something really important. So, make sure you take good care of her, okay? I can't say for certain what might happen back at the castle, but when it's over, the people, her son, they'll need her. You understand that, right? <laughs> Fine. Yes, yes. Rink Rink understands. Yes. <laughs> good, good. All right. Thanks, Rink Rink. I guess I better get going now. <sighs> then if all goes well, Ben will be safe, and she won't need to stay there anymore. So you head back and wait for her, you got it? <laughs> you got it, I know. Thanks as always, Red Dragon. <sighs> right. Back to the flower girl thing then. I have the flowers now at least, but what else was there? Well, now I have... 
I have everything, actually. Hey, I can get into the wedding now. All right, okay. Huh. This is it. Time to go get Ben and prepare ourselves. All right, there. I'm all changed now, Ben. Oh, wow. Look at you. You look beautiful, Anna. <laughs> Thank you, Ben. Hopefully the butler feels the same. So, we head to the hall. I pretend you're pulling me along. And I tell him you're a wedding present. Yeah, got it. Hmm. Well, with my clothes, at least I'll kind of look like me. <laughs> More so than a naked teddy bear. This is it, huh? You'll be okay, Ben. Just stay close to me, all right? This isn't going to be easy, but it has to work. It just has to. Those bells, what does that mean? Oh, I remember them. They always did that when... Mm, when was it? Oh, yes. They rang them whenever a royal procession had started. You mean like a wedding? Yeah, exactly. Oh, oh. And they've already started. There's no time to waste. Quickly, to the throne room. Dearly beloved, we gathered here today to join this man and this woman in holy matrimony. Not to be entered into lightly. Holy matrimony. Yes, yes, get on with it. Uh, uh, <clears throat> yes, well, if any person here can show why these two people should not be joined in holy matrimony. I do. Winfrieda is tricking you, all of you. And here is Prince Bernard to prove it. This is absurd. The crazed girl intends to pass all the stuff bear as our beloved prince. Please, just wait. Guards, seize this criminal at once. No. Guards, stand down. I am your true queen and you will do no such thing. Listen and listen well. This woman has indeed deceived you all. Because of her, I was forced to flee for my safety. But it is time to put an end to this. No. She is a liar, a trickster, a witch of evil, selfish intention. And above all, from as far back as her childhood. No. No. A murderer. You must leave now. Please, hurry. <gasps> Anna! Are you even listening? Yes, Mother. Winfrieda, you know as long as we are within these walls, you do not refer to me that way. You refer to me as your teacher, Mrs. Vogt. Yes, Mrs. Vogt. Listen to me. The Wanderer will come to pass the decisions of the Norns any day now. Your witchcraft studies are still far from where they need to be, and yet you continue to disobey me. All day you disrupt and fall behind the others. Are you not concerned about your future? But that's my point. It doesn't concern me. You never listen to me. I have. Over and over I listen. There are more pressing matters at hand right now. But the scientific evidence me and Hans have found shows that... Enough. I am in no mood to listen to your science prattle, Winfrieda. You need to take this more seriously. This is the rest of your life we're talking about. Well, I don't want to spend the rest of my life being what you want me to be. 
You know very well that word is more than just your choice of career, Winfrieda. If you continue to ignore even the basics of the school oath, then you aren't going anywhere. That's unfair. All the other kids got to go play. All the other children didn't talk back or argue with me during class. <sighs> Since you seem to have forgotten why you're at this school, we'll stay until you show me you remember. If you don't remember, then consult your notes, Winfrieda. That's what they're there for. This is so unfair. Stupid school and it's stupid weird. <clears throat> Fine. I'll just get this over and done with so I can leave already. Mother doesn't know, can't hurt her. What don't I know about? Oh, nothing, Mother. I, I mean, Mrs. Folks. Right. Please don't do anything reckless with the heater, Winfrieda. Who, me? Never. Hmm. The alphabet. As if I didn't learn that already when I was little. Mother's spell book. The spell book. I've had a peek in it before, and oh boy, sure makes class spells look like child's play. That's because the class spells are child's play. Your children, after all. Clearly the best one there. Got all the coloring in the lines and everything. Of course it's placed in the furthest corner. Thanks, Mother. Yorinda's self-portrait. Yeah, that's pretty much her. Always pretty, happy, and kind even though no one's that friendly to her. Should have known. Yoringle's self-portrait. What a mess. No need to be mean, Winfrieda. It's true, though. Look at it. Wasn't even trying. That one is Han's self-portrait. I like his, too. Nice and simple. No showing off. Unlike some people. Of course, Wilhelm has some cool dude sunglasses and jacket truth is, he owns neither. Jacob's self-portrait. Acting the tough guy, even on paper. Huh. <sighs> Perfect little Yannicka. She can't help herself. All surrounded by stars, even in a drawing. She thinks she's the center of the universe. Winfrieda, really, be nice to your sister. Yeah, that's the family. When father was still with us. What good is a picture anyway? He's gone. And he's not coming back. It is of great importance, Winfrieda, to keep their spirits close, lest we find ourselves alone. Yeah, yeah. Sentimental nonsense, if you ask me. Don't even think about it, Winfrieda. Hmm. That's where Hans and Yorinda sit. Hans used to sit with me, but Mother moved him when we talked too much. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Blah, 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 weird. Blah, blah, destiny. Blah, blah. All right, I think I got it well enough. Let's just spout this off to mother and get out of here. I'm not taking any of the work with me. I have to see it enough in class as it is. Hey, mother. Winfrieda, really? All right, all right. I think I'm ready now. Very well, go ahead. Tell me what word is. <clears throat> weird is the pattern that shapes our destinies, influenced in many ways, in part by the weave of the Norns, three great maidens who look upon us all and determine our futures, but also by everything we do, everything our ancestors did. Causality and consequence, it is what will happen, is happening, and what has already happened. Very good. Now recite the Vogt School of Witchcraft's oath for me. But mother... <sighs> By the weird we shall abide, and in respect treat each day justly, for every right, a path warm and enlightened, for every wrong, a path blackened and cold, and stay cautious of the devil, forever waiting to... to... um... And stay cautious of the devil, forever waiting to corrupt my resolve. Yeah, what you said. Listen to me, Winfrieda. This is what concerns me the most, as it should you. Oh, here we go. This science that you and Hans obsess with, 
Don't let your mind be distracted by what's not important. Mother! It's just because it's something you don't understand. You're being dramatic. I am not. I have seen what it will do to you. To your word. It is a dark, dark path, Winfrieda, that you must not take lightheartedly. If your father was here, you know he'd say the same. That's a lie. He was always happy to let me do my experiments. Unlike you. He wouldn't have been if it got in the way of your witchcraft, Winfrieda. Not if it let Janneke get this far ahead of you in your studies. I've done what you asked. May I leave now? Yes. Yes, you may. Oh, but Winnie, if you see Hans, tell him to come see me to practice his test. As should you. The Wanderer will be here any day. The judgment he passes will play a crucial part in your word. Practice. Be ready for his test. It is for your own good. Fine, I will. Have we done the right thing, Philip? Putting the fate of the girls in the hands of someone else? <sighs> no. It is the way of word. I cannot waver. And the girls? We will see. Only time can tell now. Freedom! Finally! Now, Hans told me he had something he wanted to tell me, only... Everyone's here except for him. Where's he gone off to now? How's it going, Yoringel? Huh? You never talk to me. What do you want from me? Why are you over here on your own? What do you mean? I'm always on my own. Okay, then. Why are you always on your own? What do you care? You don't care about me. No one cares about me. Well, actually, I'm asking you because... Because you're a trickster. You just want to trick me. I know what you guys are like. Acting like my friend, just so you can take my stuff. But hey, I've never... No more. I won't fall for it. If no one cares about your Yoringel, then I don't care for anyone either. From now on, Yoringel only cares about Yoringel. Okay, okay, jeez. Forget I asked. Enjoying those berries, I see. Very much so. And no, you can't have any. Fine. I was just making a joke. Yeah, right. You're just trying to trick me into giving you my lunch. You guys always teasing me, trying to take my stuff. But I... Ugh. Whatever. See if I care. I'll leave you alone, then. You happy now? Very. Hmm. They're my berries. My berries. Winnie, you finished detention. Are you okay? I hope Mother wasn't too hard on you. I'm fine, Janneke. It's just attention. Not that you'd know what that's like. I know you're a tough cookie, Winnie. I just think that... Well, sometimes Mother is a bit hard on you, is all. <laughs> she has to be. With the Wanderer coming and the grades she's getting. Ha! <laughs> exactly. There's no way she'll ever beat you, Yannicka. It's not a competition, Wilhelm. There's only one way Winnie will ever get through the Wanderer's test. Diving into the lake and taking the amber orb from Vice Frauen. Don't even joke about that. You know what happened to poor Yorinda. Yeah, maybe Winnie could get some advice from her. If she ever talked again, that is. Yeah, well, maybe I will. Then I'd really show you guys. Winnie, no! The Weiss of Frauen, you don't know what they do. You can pass the test without a silly orb. I know you can. Weiss of Frauen, only you guys would still believe in silly children's tales like that. I have a secret advantage anyway that will make me ten times better than Janneke. But, but it's really not a competition. <laughs> yeah, right. Here comes the science babble. It's not babble. You'll see. I'll prove you all wrong and win the test. Come on, everyone. It's Friday. Let's just have fun. Wait a second. Not everyone is here. Where's Hans? Do you guys know where he went? He said he was going to the usual place. He seemed pretty excited. Yeah, their usual little lovebird hideout. It's not like that. Ugh. Not everyone is like you boys, spending all day dribbling and drooling all over precious you-know-who. Who-know-who? No, no one, Yannicka. one, Yannicka. I can never remember his stupid code for the hideout, though. I hope he's written it down somewhere. Hey there, Yorinda. Still not saying much, huh? Between you and me, though, this thing with not talking, was it really from seeing the Vice of Frauen? I mean, they aren't real, right? Ugh, oh, never mind. You seem kind of lonely over here. I could be wrong, but you seem to keep glancing at someone in the yard. Aha, I'm not wrong. Is it, is it a boy? 
You can tell me. Well, actually, no, I guess.